Hello guys, in today's video we are going to see a carp reduction from the exact cover problem to the assignment allocation problem. Both problems are NP-complete, we can prove that by doing a reduction from another NP-complete problem. But before getting into the action, let's match our expectations. My videos depend on the wisdom of the crowd, a topic that really fascinates me. Since I'm starting this topic by myself, there might be an occasional mistake in what I say. Please correct me in the comment section below. I promise to read all comments and re-upload if necessary. Together, we can answer tough questions in a better way. Also, please subscribe to my channel, tend to upload many videos on this topic. The exact cover problem receives a set of elements and an array of subsets covering the elements of the set. We want to determine if these joint subsets are covering every element exactly once. The assignment allocation problem, however, receives a set of tasks, a deadline, and several agents. We want to determine if there is an arrangement which enables us to complete all tasks before the deadline by assigning the task to the agents we have at our deposit. Let's look at the solution. Alrighty. Reduction from the exact cover problem to the assignment allocation problem. Exact cover problem. Let S equals A, B, C, D be a collection of subsets of set X equals 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, such that A equals 1, B equals 2 and 5, C equals 1 and 3, and D equals 3 and 4. Notice that subsets A, B, and D are exact cover of X, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's because 1 takes care of 1, B takes care of 2 and 5, and finally D takes care of 3 and 4. If we are adding the element 3 to the subset B, we no longer have an exact cover, because sets B and D are no longer disjoint, a necessary condition for the exact cover problem, assignment allocation problem. Given a set of tasks T, T1, T2, all the way to Tn, more precisely, a set of numbers that reflects the time required to complete a particular task. Also, number of workers, M, and a deadline, D, we require to determine if we can allocate the tasks from set T to our workers in such an arrangement that all tasks will complete through the deadline. We can assign any task to one agent exactly, and the agents do not require breaks between the tasks. Once an agent completes a task, he becomes available immediately to perform another task. Every agent can perform one task at a time. No multitasking allowed. First, class. if one of the tasks requires longer time to complete than the given deadline, we can't find an arrangement that satisfies the problem. Second level, if the sum of the time requires to complete all tasks larger than the multiplication of number of workers multiplied by the deadline, we can fulfill a solution. With these lemmas in mind, let's approach to the solution. We'll try to build subsets packages of assignments from the set of tasks that require time equals to the deadline exactly. Each time we crafted such a package, we will eliminate the task involved in this package from the set and assign the package to one of our agents, removing him from our fleet of workers. For every package we managed to build, we know that we used one of the agents to its full capacity. If we can fulfill this task, and can no longer build packages that require time equal to the deadline. We will repeat the process, this time trying to build packages that require time equal to the deadline minus one hour. We will repeat the process until we manage to build packages that require time equal to the deadline minus x hours. If we eliminated all tasks, we can finally return three. If we assign packages to all of our agents and tasks still remain on the list, we will return false. Moving to the exact cover problem, we will send to it all possible subsets of tasks which do not exceed the deadline, up to 2 to the power of n subsets. We will ask a solution that satisfies the exact cover problem, and a solution that includes number of subsets that do not exceed the number of agents we have at our disposal. Let us see the reduction. First direction. Assume that a, T, T1, T2, all the way to Tn, M and D are in exact cover. The solution 
to the exact cover problem is also a solution to the assignment allocation problem. Because each subset does not exceed the deadline, and the number of subsets involved in the solution does not exceed the number of agents we have at our deposit. The exact same solution to the exact cover problem also solves the assignment allocation problem, second direction. Assume that A, T, T1, T2, all the way to Tn, and B are in assignment allocation. Because these arguments were found to solve the assignment allocation problem, there is an arrangement in which any task is exactly in one subset. So the subsets are disjoint, as required. And these arguments also solve the exact cover problem. In conclusion, we see that these arguments solve the exact cover problem if and only they also solve the assignment allocation problem. And therefore, both problems are empty coffee. Well, that's about it. I hope you learned something new from this video and please comment below with your thoughts. First degree studies in university are all about social studies and this project comes to encourage that even throughout complicated situations most of us are going through right now. Please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, good luck.